want to get his traffic, I'm just watching my my back and my front. Am I getting followed? Yeah, he is following me. That's clearly gang taggings because it ain't our work. Helicopter directly above us. Go ahead, turn around. I was looking at this was recently on fire, like the other day. Cops and, and being menaces to society. Why is there just a pile of trash here? I hear baseball bats. Oh, we got a dog. Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. I have an hour of footage for you guys today. If you haven't heard, there is a massive rainstorm coming to Los Angeles, so you may not see me for a few days. Don't forget, up until April 15th, HicksFam.com. If you want to win this bike, every dollar spent gives you one entry. Don't forget, this bike could be yours. I'm giving away this Ultra B. HicksFam.com. Let's go. Out here in the hood, look at these houses. I'm always a big fan of these. Ooh. These two houses you see right after you get off the, the 110 South. The 110 runs north and south through uh, South Central. And uh, I've been seeing these houses since I was a kid, man. They're, they're so cool. I feel like they might have been on fire at one point. It's hard to tell because that roof looks like it's been redone. Or maybe it's just from the rain and the fact that it's that old, you know. Hard to tell. A lady was coming out. So if you saw me, then she decided not to come out. Boy, it's a shot and shot with her, but that ain't happening. Let's make sure we got the... Pockets zipped up, car keys are safe. Yeah, I'm gonna try and give you guys as long as possible a video today. We're gonna be out in the streets just chilling. There's a freeway I was just on. It was brutal to get down here too, folks. We got an East Coast just chilling in the middle of the street. And we got the most, uh, you know, normal site out here in LA for homeless folks. I gotta start bringing some stuff to give to them when I'm on my rides and I see them out here. Start feeling bad just riding past them all the time. I'm gonna be chilling in eco mode. Well, we got some traffic we gotta get there. We're gonna take Broadway. I'm gonna try and stay mainly on main streets today as far as I can. I'm gonna check out a little few things like this here and there, but one thing I noticed, I was watching some of my old Oh, have we dead ended? That was a cat. That was a cute. Oh, few... she just gave birth. Look, she's with her kitten. Hey, how are you? Huh? You saw kittens? The cats? No. 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 Oh. Know. Okay. No worries. Okay, yeah, we're going. Oh, okay. Oh, you know. That's another one of many. Uh, encounters you can have in south central because uh yeah i don't know i don't even know I, what am i even talking about i don't know i was just looking at the cute cats i thought he was telling me to stay away from him but then he was like i don't know anything about those cats what i was saying though is i'm gonna try and stay on main streets a little bit more what i noticed is that once we get into the neighborhoods it kind of like just we just kind of start aimlessly bopping around into nothingness and most of the fun stuff to see when you're out here is on the main streets water in them plants that's right um and stuff like this right here check this out damn this is right here on the main street too this is not even like uh towards downtown or nothing this is somebody's house i got all types of stuff i see some bike tires that tire has a, a bead missing out of it he's actually got a little collection of tires crazy anywho so we're gonna try and stick on the main roads a little bit more than usual today just to you know see what's going on instead of getting lost in the neighborhoods and we're gonna be cruising nice and easy i'll check out neighborhoods as it feels right though like that one kind of looks cool to check out but we're just, we're just cruising for the time being what is this right here it's like a little market or something got the backpack alert one thing that always annoys me about having uh i have an air tag right i have one in my backpack i have one on my suron i have one in my car just in case you know who knows it might you know something might happen and then i got one on my bicycle and every time i go anywhere they start buzzing look i would have jumped right into this look at that that's so sketch what is this even is this just like a drain for the rain or something hey hola we got more ems rolling right here here's that, that taco strip i think down this street later on in the day there's a bunch of taco stands that come out 
Oh, EMS is rolling for something right here. Let's go ahead and bend, bend a corner real quick. Almost wind the traffic. Whoops. Sorry. Is this alley right here too we could check out after? Oh, kind of. Kind of weird. EMS rolling for something right in front of us. This is at a house, so it's probably just like, it's probably an elderly person that's in need or something. So we're not, we're just going to roll past. That's what I'm guessing because I sure don't see a fire or anything like that. So I'm guessing it's just, you know, probably that. It's probably just an elderly person in need. I've been missing riding my Sura, man. I was reading this uh, a thread the other night about a bunch of e-scooter riders talking about what's the what's the perfect speed to just be cruising at. And uh, one of them, you know, the guy who started it said that 25 was like the perfect speed. If you crash, you can't go wrong. And in my head, I'm thinking like, dude, do you even really know what 25 is? Like, tw if you crash on anything, Suron, bicycle, or electric scooter, at the least, doesn't matter what you're on, that's gonna be a bad crash, dude. Even if you have full protective gear, your helmet, you know, all that stuff, you crash going 25 miles an hour, you're gonna feel it. You're gonna feel it. And not only will you feel it, the main thing is that you are going to break something like you're probably going to break an ankle at the least or your wrist or finger or, or maybe you're like uh, like in the worst cases if we're talking about tibula or, or like part of you know anything just about anything you can't like you can't go into 25 miles an hour thinking it's okay to crash at that speed right that that was my initial thought what do you guys think how fast is too fast on an electric vehicle i mean when you pin it on a suron on this bike, you're going 50, which to me is pretty fast. Like you're already beating the speed limits. Um, for a lot of people, that's not fast enough. Like let's go sport mode just so I can show y'all. Like you start feeling like the world is passing you by real quick once you pin it on this thing. All right, let's try and hit full speed. 70 kilometers an hour, something like that. It's just, it's just fast, man. I don't find myself pinning it on my Suron too often, you know, for any reason. Look look how crazy the traffic is. People turn it right and left right into you. So it's like when you're going that fast, you have almost no time to react out here in the streets of LA to something happening, right? So I tend to not just floor it everywhere I go on this. That's someone like Dan the Man, polar opposite line of thinking of me. He just is totally, he's completely, nope. He has two modes, waiting to pin it and then pinning it. There's no in between, there's no chilling. You might as well take off the eco switch. It doesn't even exist to him. So, and I feel like that's more the rider uh, that the electric bikes and the scooters kind of kind of cater towards, right? Like that's what it's advertised as, like a speed demon device and stuff like that. So I don't know. I just want to hear you guys thoughts on that. For me, I, I'm i always chilling. You guys know me, I'm barely, I'm just riding around looking at stuff. Like this liquor store looks sick. It smells like, uh, smells like the LA cologne if you catch my drift what's that right here let me know in the comments folks so yeah you know right now we're just chilling man we're gonna take a long lap uh around we're gonna go south probably down to like 90 100 something like that and then turn up fig and then take fig all the way back I haven't done a fig ride from all the way deep and I was talking about it for the longest back uh when I was riding my Suron out here. I also checked the last time I rode out here on the Suron. It's been like four months. It's crazy. Damn, that car's kind of sick. Evo. Uh, it's crazy how fast time flies. I felt like it was only like a month ago. Nope. It was like four months ago I was last out here riding around on the Suron. Got the fixie homie cooking. That's right. He's on a mission. <laughs> That's what we like to see, man. But, um... Yeah, okay, we gotta get through a little bit right here. Let's go ahead and cook it. And don't get me wrong, it ain't because I don't like this bike. I freaking love my Suron, man. I have so much fun on this bike compared to just about anything else. Uh, I just forget to ride it sometimes. It's as simple as that. Sometimes I just straight up forget to ride it. He's on that goon. That thing was looking good. That's Black Boy Fame's goon. Anyone who knows about the goon ride, that ride out that they do at the end of the month, that's his signature frame. But anyways, See, look, we're in eco mode. You can easily keep up with, with traffic in this mode in LA. You know, obviously, if you live like somewhere where there's almost no traffic or it's like all dirt, you'd want more juice on the Suron. And plus, 
I'm pretty sure most people know by now this thing is not designed to be a city commuter bike. It is designed to be an off-road vehicle. We got the palm trees, just a few of them though. Anytime I see these, I gotta roll down them. It just makes me think of LA in a, in a good way, you know, so. So I'm always, anytime I see the palm trees, try to roll down it, get a quick pick, if you can get a pick. Follow me on Instagram if you don't already. All right, so anyways, we got a little sidetracked by the palm trees. Now we're back here. Oh, this tree's kind of cool. They planted these, uh, what is that, bamboo? I don't even really know. Back up on Broadway. We're gonna go southbound on Broadway for a little bit further. And then, we're gonna cut back up big, ultimately, at some point, but not yet. We're still gonna go further south. We just passed Lawson, so we got a ways to go. Kind of sneaking around. There's the thing out here is like, you can choose how you want to ride. If you're riding the streets, you better be prepared because <laughs> the traffic, you basically do not exist. So for me, I'd take my chances and a little bit of both. I prefer just cruising on the sidewalk. I'm going like two miles an hour anyway. I like to just see stuff too. We're gonna take this side street right here. Looks a little hectic. What's going on right here? It's just a pile of trash. We gotta ride through some glass to get to it. It's nothing much. Some bumpers. Looks like some hit and runs went down. So much broken glass. Every car is getting broken into down here. Last time I came down here, it was loose dogs. It was a bunch of loose dogs. We'll end up cutting down that alley to get back. We're gonna go down this one real quick. Throw it in sport mode in case a dog does pop out on us. But this is an alley system that kind of goes left and right through uh, through here. Look at this, bro. This is the craziest alley in the whole city. I'm gonna go ahead and say it. If you run into a dog here, it's over. Look at this. Damn. Oh, they got some bikes and stuff. They probably got bike parts for sale. I don't really need anything at the moment, though. Let's go ahead and turn around. Wow. Damn, 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 damn. Free basketball. <laughs> That's crazy, dude. They straight up took over the alley. But you know what? I think that's been there. If I'm not mistaken, I think I rode past there once and I wanted to go check it out, but I was just on a move. I don't know if y'all can tell on the footage, but there were people back there. They're just doing their thing. They really didn't even mind me pulling up. I don't even know if they noticed me. We got here, we got a free stroller. There's all types of free stuff in the hood. If you guys wanna, you know, come play Gary V, <laughs> you know, do the, uh, the yard sale. Shout out to Gary V too. One of my favorite human beings on the planet awesome guy uh he reached out to me on the instagram dm a few months ago and that just that made that lifted my spirit so much at a time where i was very down and confused about what i was going to do going forward it's crazy how sometimes just a person reaching out to you like uh it just switches your motivation on like that you know so i'm always gonna be a gary v fan he's a good dude and him reaching out to me just uh it really got my spark going and right after that i had some of my best months ever I mean, ever, 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 ever on YouTube. So there's definitely some uh, some power to that. Anyways, more trash lined alleys. You got the Hercules burger, if you know, you know. And they accept EBT. That's what I'm talking about. Hercules burger. That's been around for a hot minute. Right here is a corner where that dude asked me how much my surround cost, and I told him 400 bucks. <laughs> w or L? Let me know. Uh, so we got a couple options right here. We're still on Broadway. We're gonna go down south a few more blocks because I just really never come out this way. Uh, usually I go that way and go behind the church's chicken and cut through and hit some alleys. There's a bunch of alleys that start going that way, but then you kind of get in the neighborhoods. Has a clean color on a Civic. I think that's a Civic. Uh, if I had to buy another car, it'd probably be a Civic, man. I'm uh, I'm more than happy with what they offer, a SI or or uh, what's the fancy one? What's the fancy Civic called? That's Someone put it in the comments. The one that John Cena has? Huh? What is it, what? How much is it for? Oh, how much? Four. Yeah. Oh, it's called Suron right here. Look it up. 
You take a picture of it? Yeah. Yeah. It goes 50 miles an hour. Oh. Yeah, it's a little too fast. <laughs> Let's go. Spread the word of the Suron, you know. I try to do my best. I remember when I first found the Suron, dude, I was randomly going through YouTube. I was trying to figure out what bike would be my next thing. And I, I stumbled on a Suronster video. And then bam, next thing you know, I was like, you know what, let me check it out. It was a big investment back at the time, 4,000. But uh, it turned out to be worth every penny, man. All because I found a Suronster video one day. Anyways. This street's kind of crazy, right? I always come down here and I feel like it's like in Mexico. He's got something under there. It looks like it might be an Impala or something. Some type of old school. But this street has so much character, bro. This is like a movie scene street. Another old school. With Dayton's. <laughs> He's got the Dayton's. That's right. Getting a little lost. Oh. Sport mode. That'll, that's one thing that'll bust your ass, dude, is if you don't know what mode you're in on your Suron. You think you're in sport mode, you're in eco, you pin it, you go nowhere, that's fine. You think you're in eco mode, but you're in sport, you can loop it and end up on your butt. So, a word of caution. Anywho, fun day out here in the hood. Oh, oh God, oh, oh my Lord. <sighs> Cold blood cold blood that gave me the cold blood feeling oh look they chained this alley off used to be able to come down here oh it's trash everywhere man they need to do a neighborhood cleanup out here i mean i'm talking about it i should be about it i need to come and clean some stuff up out here used to be able to come down here i don't know what happened there's nothing much going on in that alley it's very clean i probably shut it off to uh you know keep the uh transients out Look at this stuff. I really just want to run into this. That, nah. <gasps> oh, they busted their window. Look, they taped it up. That probably was theirs. It had to have been, right? Dude, if you needed to push that, the server would be the perfect tool. You could just drive into it. Anywho, let's keep it moving. We're at 20 minutes so far. I'm going to try my hardest to keep all this in. I'm trying not to edit anything. I try to just wave at people, you know, as I'm rolling through, just to, just to not put them on edge, even though I have the green shirt. Most people, they see the GoPro and they immediately are like, what's going on? So just a simple hand wave most of the time, it kind of uh, de-escalates any potential situation. Anyways, I don't know why I thought I'd be able to make it over that. Almost did. I mean, there's so much trash you might as well just ride over something right it's just it's all trash that's a cool uh art and it's also their branding so that's cool couple water heaters that, that's what that is right a water heater i feel like that's one of the big signs when you grow up and you become like a grown-ass man you have to replace a water heater once you're tasked with doing that whether it's your families or or your friends or whatever is the case when you got to do that that's when you would become a man in life. <laughs> you had to do, you had to change out your water heater. We're still moving down Broadway. Straight chilling. We're gonna go down a few more streets. I would say probably like two or three more main streets and then cut the right. We're gonna cut up Fig and then jam on back. And that's gonna be the route. We did a nice cool cruise, slow motion, checking out all types of uh, ins and outs out here. So I've, I've been having a good time. I needed this today, man. Just come out and relax. So I hope you guys enjoy watching me out here chilling sometimes i just want to chill man and i happen to record it so i have something to show y'all look at this truck look at this dually dang this is gangster yup this is sick i mean it's too much truck for me but if i wanted i, I mean why would you not want this this thing is incredible <laughs> this is so cool i'm a fan of duallys man i just think they look awesome even though i'm sure 90 percent of people who have them is overkill it's hard to say for that one but they're still just sick i think they're they're cool ass trucks so you know all types of random shops out here looks like these are all mechanics i always wonder someone could probably fill me in on this in the comments how come when you see one mechanic you see like 10 on the same block what's up with that you know how come they're all like uh, grouped together is it a zoning thing by the city that they all have to be next to each other or is it just they happen to uh 
do they group up like to try and make business simpler for the customer like you can go get your transmission done there and get body work done there what's the reason for that barbershop is cracking all right we're coming up on florence so that means we cover quite a bit of ground i think we're gonna hit our right on florence and start cutting it back real quick we're gonna check out this graffiti though this is fire fire graffiti love that got the cyclists yes sir we have an open alley actually i think it dead ends though i think this is one we saw that dead ends yeah it is and this one is closed on this side look at this big old tree bump oh it's certain doesn't bottom out over that that's crazy i thought for sure it was gonna chunk the motor but it didn't that's pretty impressive Suron, it never fails to impress. <laughs> That's pretty cool. A little bit of free ride in the hood. Never hurt nobody. Be careful coming around these corners. Don't want to run into anybody. Anywho, coming up on Florence, let's go ahead and start cutting through. Is this another alley right here? What is this? No, it's not. I know where we're at, but. I don't know all the ins and outs of these neighborhoods. We do got an alley system. Should we just tear it through real quick? I say we should. We got to get across the street first, though. And it's kind of hectic with the traffic right now. It's just not stopping. Let's check it out. What's going on down here? The Amigos chilling, big chilling. This is how we end up getting off of uh, the route we we're gonna take today. Oh, I see some stuff up here on the left. Oh, we got the we got the block. The block is hot. The block is hot. I hear baseball bats. Oh, we got a dog. Alright, oh, this tree's turned up. A lot going on right here. Whoa. We gotta turn around and check this out, yo. Look, it was on fire recently or something. I saw a big dog right here, so we're gonna. Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't even know what I was looking at. This is recently on fire, like the other day. They just caution taped it off. Damn. Look at that, bro. Looks like it was a laundry place or just probably someone's belongings. It's all piled up. Damn, that's crazy, bro. Oh, the smell is insane right there. It is straight up toxic. All right, we're gonna keep moving from right there. That was a little, uh, you know, I ain't got no business talking right there. We got a little bit of gang taggings. That's clearly gang taggings because it ain't artwork. Look at this. Hold on, do we dare? Yeah, good. Cool. I'm gonna take it easy though. I do not want to get trapped by a dog. Oh, it's just somebody's... Damn, look at that. This alley turns into uh, somebody's home. That's kind of wild. Dude, these are some of the craziest alleys I've ever randomly checked out today. Insane. And we got a TV for the free. That's a Samsung. That's a nice panel. Gang activity going on over here, though. All the graffiti. That's what it's, that's what it's telling me. Usually my intuition is correct, so we're gonna keep it moving anyways. We gotta go. We gotta go to Fig. Fig is calling us. It's our ultimate destination today, so let's go ahead and keep making our way up. Nice and easy. Got the one times. Looks like they got somewhere they gotta be too. They're kind of moving with purpose. Got the East Group. That's right. This is where I like uh that's where I come to respect East Goose. If they let people getting to and from work get there easier, that's cool. Drunk dudes riding in a pack of three of them, harassing people and riding recklessly and shoulder checking people riding down the street in K-Town, not a big fan of that. So, you know, that's where I kind of uh, see the difference in the, in the use cases for them. Anyways, out here in... Uh, Pretty deep in the South Central at this point. Let's go on and keep going. Okay. Hey, hey man, I got no question.
directions for nobody. I'm just keeping it moving. We got to get the fig. We got to get back all the way up fig once we get there too. We still got a, about, uh, I want to say a half of a video done, maybe halfway point technically because we're about to turn around. I don't know how much we're going to see on the way back. Uh, we are going up fig, so you know what that means. We may, uh, we may see some things that you don't see anywhere else in LA. But I'm gonna just, I'm gonna mainly just keep going. That ain't really the, the focus of today is to show you guys fig street. We are gonna do another fig video soon. Both of those videos popped off like crazy. So we will be checking out fig again in full. But just not today, that ain't really the purpose. Right now I'm just trying to get home, baby. Not really home, but to the car. Still gotta drive an hour back in traffic, man. The traffic has been brutal lately. Oh, dude, I just realized she's got a kid, man. Damn, I really wish I had some money to give, dude. I gotta start, I gotta start carrying dollars and just random. Dude, someone just honked a train horn at <laughs> their car. Because that's, that's tough, man. I would love to, to kick them down some money. Just like they are, so that's cool. Anywho. Little sidewalk free ride. We love that. All right, we're up on Fig. I wonder who just honked that. <laughs> that loud ass train horn, that was craziness. So I don't know what's going on over there. Someone got a speaker or something? All right, time to start cooking. Just a little bit. We're still gonna be chilling, but we're gonna be chilling with a little bit of uh, intention to get back. They got the denim sale. Look at all this denim. Wow. You know what's one thing I, I I don't know how this just crossed my radar, but I guess people in London are stealing things on Surons. And it got me to thinking, even like right there as I passed that table, I was like, if I was a thief, man, this would be the easiest crime of all time. You just grab something, be gone before most people would even realize what happened. You be gone before most people even realize that you stole something on a Suron. Which I don't know, this is also just maybe my feeds of information I go to because look hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on look at this pile of trash right here holy crap I don't know if it's just my sources because I'm a cyclist first you guys know that I ride bikes but I also ride my Suron and I love this thing but the general consensus I feel like around Surons are just negative bro nobody really likes them unless you ride one because <laughs> you got to ride one to understand why they're so fun right these things are just amazing they're incredible but most people see them and they're just they see punk kids like doing wheelies and swerving cars and cops and and being menaces to society why is there just a big ass pile of trash here bro it's kind of wild <laughs> sorry um they got tools for sale i might come hit this up soon get an impact drill i want to have a kit to uh i got a flat tire on my suv the other day and i want to have a kit to be ready next time that happens my own uh floor jack and an impact drill with a socket yeah so anyways you know the negative the the connotation around surrounds is mostly negative right you think of punk kids doing wheelies and like 14 year olds with no helmet just like smashing and you know so that's one thing but the theft that's that's just that's crazy to me <laughs> that's crazy that they went that far that's like the ultimate in like being a a, a horrible person right is using an e-bike to steal from people like what is what is going on in london if there are any people in europe or london specifically that could chime in on that for me let me know look at that elko how you doing uh because i'm pretty interested to hear more about that from some people who probably live there you can tell me a little bit more hands-on about what's going on we got the bus oh there's a bus stop interesting all right we're cooking up fig and um to be honest it ain't figging if you know about fig you know why uh this street is so famous in, uh, in so many ways. And uh, the main way uh, looks like is not, it's not active today. Maybe I'm out here too early, who knows? But um, yeah, usually you see employees out and about at this time is the most roundabout way I could put it. And they're all back that way behind Gage. So it looks like we're not gonna be seeing any of that wildness on the way back. But uh, you know, like I said, that was not the goal today. I just came out to ride, have a good time, get scared by dogs like that, and just chill. Anywho, also, I had a, I had a TikTok, uh, not a TikTok, 
uh, short though super viral right? it's got like 20 million some views of me riding down some stairs on a Suron and uh, <laughs> it's pretty not uh, well received I mean I, got, I don't know how to put it it's got a lot of people talking mess in the comments but also a lot of people are like are you guys serious one thing I just always will point out is the GoPro makes things look worse than they are when you're watching me do this stuff through the GoPro lens you don't get all the context of everything I see like that building got burned down I think I saw that on the news. This was, this, that must have happened a few months ago. I saw that. That was a big deal. You don't get the full context. I saw a smoke fire right now. Look at this bike. This thing is sick. Love it. You can't really see all the things I see when I'm riding. So it's, you might think I'm being extremely reckless, but in reality, I am very uh, calculated. I'm trying to say complicated. I'm very calculated on this bike when I'm riding it. I do a. Uh, lots of risk risk aversion and um i'm spotting things way further ahead than you can even see on the gopro so it's not like uh you know i'm just kind of out here getting it without any idea where i'm going anyways there's a speed limit on the suron in eco mode isn't that crazy stops you right at 50 kilometers per hour which is what like 30 something miles per hour i take it probably something around there i don't know exactly what it is but Anywho, getting back up Fig, we got to go a couple more streets. We're on Slauson, so this is where we initially planned on turning down. We got to go just walking down the street with a bike tire. I wonder where that's from. Who knows, but they probably need it. Looks like you're working out. Record outdoor cycle. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Let's see how much time we're at. 35 minutes? Okay. Okay, okay. Like I said, I'm going to try and see how much I can avoid cutting out. Uh-oh, watch your step. Watch your step. <laughs> I don't know what I was going for there. <laughs> um, yeah, we're going to see how much I can get out of this. Hopefully all of it. Hopefully I don't need to edit anything. Just out here chilling, man. How much going on on Fig? Honestly, Broadway was more exciting than coming up this street. Fig is like... You know, it's got the it's got the thing that it's famous for, right? But other than that, it's it's almost like a residential street that goes to the city. Like there's no businesses, as you can see on the side here. It's all, um, you know, residences. I guess that's just how this part of the city is zoned. It's like almost entirely apartments and you know hotels, stuff like that. We do have another church's chicken up here. Church's Chicken is one of my favorite food spots as far as fast food, period. And they're all in the hood. That's the problem. You can't, you got to come down here to find them. And then they're all over the place. I had one right down the street from where I grew up in Long Beach, uh, in Northside Long Beach. I was off of Orange and, Orange and Harding, maybe? I don't remember exactly. Um, or Market Street or something. I don't know if that's still there. If anyone still lives in Long Beach, California, let me know if they still got the Church's Chicken because uh, that was my spot back in the day. I was, uh, I was a fat boy eating there all the time. Got a bag full of diapers. Hey man, those are expensive. <laughs> That's all I got to say. I don't even have a kid and I know diapers are expensive. All right, up on 51st. There's a schoolboy cute memorial for, I, I said memorial. <laughs> it's, it's just his art, he's not dead. I made it sound like he's dead. Cool boy Q is, a, is an excellent artist who is alive. And uh, you know, he's always talking about 51st Street, which is this one right here. Big and 51st. Oh well. Let's actually change it up a little bit. That looks like a cool obstacle. Oh, this dog. I think he was tiny and harmless. Free desk. Uh so anywho. We're wrapping it up here. We gotta make it a uh, a couple more streets up, I'm about to hit this left and go the wrong way down the road. This is where you can get on the freeway. Last time I was coming down here to film, there was a fire right here, like right here. And uh, I missed it. <laughs> I wanted to film it, but by the time I got on my bike and spent the block, it was already off. So you could go the wrong way down the 110 if you wanted to here. And uh, if CHP spotted you, well, you would probably just get arrested straight up. They'd probably just arrest you, they waste no time. I got a kitty. So that's where you're looking at riding through these streets. 
and I'm also going the wrong way down to one way, so we're gonna go back up on Fig because it's also not much going on in these back streets anyway. Sheesh. By the way, GoPro 12, we've been on one battery this whole time, no overheats, one take. My dream camera, I freaking love it. We didn't miss a single moment today. Um, still lots of ground to cover out here, man. This is sketch as hell, but we're doing it. Still lots of ground to cover out here in South Central, out here in the hood, man. We're gonna cover it all one by one. What was that? He burning it out. <laughs> What's up, dog? Oh, man, that's the tire smell. <laughs> I was trying to get them, but they didn't look like they really wanted to be on camera, so I ain't gonna hold them up. That's cool with me, man. I know I don't want to be on most people's cameras anyway, <laughs> when I'm just riding around, so. I don't blame them one bit. It'd be cool to mob out here with some mini bike riders one day, though. If you ride a mini bike, you live in South Central, hit me up, maybe we mob. We'll pull Danny Man out here, too. Danny Man don't like riding in the hood. <laughs> I'm gonna get him out here one day, though. You don't, you don't like riding in the hood. He'd rather ride downtown on the west side. I don't blame him. That's where most people want me to ride usually. I'm not really downtown, but the west side, it is nicer. So, you know, I don't blame him one bit. All right, well, we got the pass. <laughs> We're going way too fast to the sidewalk. Let me slow it down. All right. There is a structure fire going on right here, Lexington Avenue and Wilton Place in LA. Uh, it looks like it's already pretty much put out, thankfully. We got the street blocked off. Traffic is an absolute nightmare in both directions. Can't tell which house it is that was on fire. It's a very hot and windy day out here in LA. It's about 90 degrees right now. Very windy, as you can tell by the trees. Pretty much uh, the most unideal conditions. Looks like it was that house right there. Let's see if we can get across right here and get a better view. Looks like they don't have the street blocked off, so we're gonna try and get around through here. If there was a fire, they definitely put it out. There's about three, four fire engines. Traffic halted in all directions. They definitely had to do some type of extinguishing. Let's see if we can get a closer look. No actual flames. What do I smell anything? And there's people just kind of standing around. Oh, it's actually here on the right side of the road. Yeah, this part of town is like all apartments. Let's see if we can cross. We don't want to go all up in their space. It's like nobody's getting through. This is right off of a freeway on ramp too. So this is definitely going to be disrupting traffic for quite a while. It's a pretty unique looking fire truck. I don't think I've ever seen one that looks like this. It's very modern. I can't really smell anything. Whatever it is, they extinguish it quick. This guy thinks he's gonna get through. Maybe he lives here. All people who live inside looks like they got taken out. Whatever it is, it is definitely under control at this point. What surprised me, people driving through are thinking they can get through right there. Maybe they just uh, don't know. See, when it gets hot out here in LA like this, right now out here, it's probably like 86 degrees, so that's not crazy hot. It is so common for fires to start like that. Even when I was just at home, uh, yesterday there was a huge fire just down the street from my house with a 14 freeway and the five connect. And today, as I was driving down here, I got like three different alerts on my watch for uh, structure fires that are happening pretty much all day. There's also a huge fire. If you guys can see the clouds out there, those aren't clouds, that's actually smoke. Up in Topanga Canyon, there is a gigantic brush fire going on so yeah safe to say it is currently fire season in california it is just unfortunate that it started this early usually it starts closer to september it's we're barely getting to the end of july you know we're already seeing multiple fires every single day like big ones too looks like they're pretty much clearing out for this right now not even a, a scent of smoke in the air though so oh dang look at all this trash common we are in uh, i don't know where i want to say we're at I, maybe career town we're in like a weird little pocket of la like the freeway is right here as a matter of fact there's a way to get onto the freeway right here if i'm not mistaken through here i always see kids go through here and sitting here when i pass it on the freeway 
definitely way on, but we ain't getting through there on the Suron. Very hot, very windy day out here in LA today. Prime conditions for um, fires, pretty much. Right after that, quick fire, uh, whatever, you know, you want to call that, that just went down. Looks like it got put out pretty quick. Now there is a helicopter directly above us. And I mean, it's hovering so close above me that you would think that I'm the guy they're looking for. Looks like he's leaving. I just heard sirens like right here. I don't know exactly what's going on. I thought it was like a little short chase. Maybe we'll see something up here on the main street. I don't see anything going on except for a whole lot of traffic. Let's shred down the street just a little bit. A little peak traffic in LA right now. We're going to be creeping as we cruise down the street. Uh, I got nothing. Got the fruit on deck though. That stuff smells amazing. We'll creep down just a little bit, but from what I can see, I, there's nothing really going on down here on this street. Even though this is where the helicopter was just circling. Funky little part of town. I never really come out this way. This is just, uh, you know, when I think about this part of town, all I think about is cars. Lots and lots of cars. As you can see, cars in every single direction. Just lots of traffic and not really a place where you can get away with any type of riding on any device. Yeah, there's nothing going on over here. I don't know. I guess we'll check out this area for a bit since we're out here. It's so hot, man. It is a solid, I want to say 95 degrees right now. And uh, and this is down in the city, bro. It's just, it is so hot in the city of LA. Everywhere you go. When it's hot, just things start happening. Things just catch on fire so easily. I feel like there's just more crime in general. I was talking about this in another video. Everything seems a little bit more active when it gets hot, especially this hot. It's like summertime, full blown heat hot. Usually we don't get this level of heat until like August. Sometimes not even September, but man, it is just, it's cooking out here, brother. I think I'm hearing sirens. I'm not sure. It looks like something might be going on up in front of us. Cannot really tell. Oh, we got a fire truck. Oh no, that's another ambulance. Yeah, I think whatever is going on. I thought he was coming this way. I was trying, I was trying to get out of his way preemptively. They're coming so on tamales. Ooh. Got LAPD cruising. All right, well, off we go. Up the street a little bit. We're going to avoid riding in the street for now because it is rush hour in the heat. Double whammy. Lots of little alleys right here. We're going to check out one of those back behind us. We got the Red Bull Civic in the cut. Very neat. There is a way onto the freeway right here. Check it out. A little off-road path both ways. Here's a 101 freeway. So there's that. Whatever was just going on was police looking at someone doing something on the freeway. None of our concern for today. Is this a dead end? Oh, I think we're good. Santa Monica Boulevard, as you can see, straight traffic, cars honking, people trying to get somewhere. A tow truck, someone's getting towed, that ain't good. All right, we got a quick peek out here. Helicopter circled above us for a second, saw fire. I think we're gonna push on to downtown LA, see what's going on down there real quick. Let's check it out. Bro, straight up, this is one of the biggest tents I have ever seen. Look at this, it's like a dome. Clothing lines, those almost, I thought those were booby traps. A few other tents around here in the vicinity. Here in downtown LA, it is extremely hot down here as well. Nothing out of the ordinary. Lots of broken glass here. Hard to tell if this is a bunch of, oh no, it's just like bottles. I thought a lot of cars got their windows broken. Something very plausible to have happen out here though. So it's not out of the ordinary. Right here by Union Station. I haven't been here on the Suron yet, I don't think. We got the post office right here. Private property. All right, well, I was really just drawing a blank on where to go, so we're gonna check out downtown LA for a bit, see what's going on, you know, why not? Like I was just mentioning about fires, even on my way down here, there was a rubbish fire on the side of the road right up on Main, a couple streets north of where I am right now. It's just gonna be a trend all summer, folks. There's gonna be nonstop fires out here. That's just the reality of it. It's not the most common weather for LA, Elvera Street, absolutely cracking today. Packed, I was hoping to slide through there, but that is not happening. 
Looks like the fire happened right here. There's a small camp here. I don't even see any remnants of a fire. It looks like they definitely did access the hose. So there's something, something was ablaze. What it was, I do not know. We are going to make the most of it while we're out here in downtown. There's a Dodgers game going on. So you can expect to see lots of people in Dodgers gear like so. Cool little crevice right here in Alvera Street. Out here in Chinatown is where we really are. What's up, man? <laughs> yep, make our own path, right? So we got options right here. We could spread into downtown. We could go north for a little bit. I never really go north right here. Let's see what's going on. A few tents. When, is it, when I'm riding this thing, it's hard to tell if I'm hearing sirens or if I'm hearing the, the whine of the, the motor on it. <laughs> Once you start picking it up, for some reason, when you're in the city, it sounds identical to uh, to sirens going off. It's kind of crazy. Off we go in the city. Hustle and bustle out here in GTA 5 in real life, aka downtown LA. Trying to slide our way through. Extreme traffic out here today. Good old LA traffic for you guys. Yep. Beautiful day out here though, even though it's pretty dang hot. I'll give my GoPro another like, uh, I don't know, five minutes before it just straight up overheats. Let's hit the trash stair bomb. Oh. Love it. That <laughs> dude is probably like, what the hell is that guy doing? Trust me, I don't even know. Go ahead and rip through Chinatown real quick. We haven't been here on a Suron in a long time. We were literally just in downtown like yesterday. So we're going to get a little bit of a change of pace. We actually have some more stairs we can bomb down if we hit this left. Nice little route. Got the, okay, oh, something going on right there. Well, I guess we will hop into downtown for a quick second, just to see what's going on, very briefly. Uh, okay, looks like a bus has broken down. Unlucky. That's one of those fancy uh, natural gas buses. I wonder if the heat makes it break down. Oh, the news is here. Something's going on. El Tiempo. KTLA. Interesting. What's the news story today? Who knows? Maybe people complain about how hot it is because it's hot as hell. Uh, let's see. We could do a little bit of free riding while we're out here. Why not, right? Look at that crowd. Something happened right here. That guy, right there. Bro, there's so many sirens going on right now. I hear police too. I see anything on my alert tracker that would show what's going on here or around the corner. I don't know. Okay, we just stopped from here. The cops got on the freeway. So whatever's going on there, out of town. Probably something up north. Bunch of stuff was happening in Hollywood today. By the way, if you guys are wondering how I'm so in the loop, there's this app I found called LAIT911. It's directly tied to uh, the dispatch for the fire department. So whenever fires or like uh, incidents happen, uh, I get a notification on my phone. It's, there's an app kind of like that called Citizen that I used to use, but Citizen is, is uh, it's relying upon like the people who use it. Whereas this one is straight to the dispatch. So anything I see is something that's actually going on. A lot more reliable, basically. Another paramedic coming up, dude. I just feel like we're just in the middle of the mix right now, but nothing's really going on. He's just cruising. Uh, I mean, I don't know what, what that one's about. There's a the thing about LA, especially downtown. 80% of the time, emergency services are out and about. It's not for, I mean, a large chunk of the time it's for homeless folks having some type of emergency, you know? Let's see if we can get all, up all these stairs. That'd be sick. Oh yeah, we did it. 
We did that. This thing is a stair climbing machine, bro. I wasn't even sure if there's stairs right here. <laughs> Love that. Hopefully my tires aren't wet. We'll still run a free ride. This thing jumps. Don't let it fool you. It is heavy, <laughs> but it can jump just enough. It's got just enough hops in it to uh, get what you need to do. Right, so on our right, we have Little Tokyo. Let's check it out, huh? Dang, look at this. I just almost rode right past this. Look at this humongous uh, statement. This looks like the guy who made the uh, Supreme logo, huh? Who is beyond the law? Who is bought? Who is sold? Who is free to choose? Who does the time? Who follows orders? Who salutes longest? Who prays loudest? Who dies first? Who laughs last? Wow, that's pretty deep. And then we have this like uh, Transformers looking space shuttle. I don't know what the hell is this. <laughs> it looks kind of neat though. Dude, more EMS rolling right here. It's another paramedic. It looks like he's probably going to the same thing that uh, the other paramedic's going to. Kind of crazy how much EMS is out here today, right? When it's hot, it's just everything is so much more uh, dangerous, especially if you're living on the street, man. That's just, that is just rough. I'm actually gonna turn it around. That one looks like he's going another direction too. Probably an entirely different emergency. Crazy. All right, well. Here we are in Little Tokyo. If we make a left or a right, we're in it. I'm so surprised how I haven't gotten a flat tire on this thing yet. The way I just mob upstairs. <laughs> I mean, knock on wood, because when I do eventually get one, it's going to suck. Let's see if we can sneak our way through Little Tokyo real quick. We just may be able to. Doesn't look that busy today, honestly. There's the usual spots, got some people. Usually this place has a huge line. Today, not the case. We're gonna try and get into the back where I... And it's closed. Used to be able to sink through right here and then go up there. Looks like they've caught onto that one. Let's see what's going on through here. It's a parking lot? There's another sneaky little entrance right here. A little Tokyo mobbing. So cool right japanese prizes those are the things that uh what are they called gotcha i don't know i don't know anything about <laughs> tokyo culture but <laughs> so this place was on the news not too long ago there's a car chase it ended at that stair set that i just jumped down before i made a right and came through and the car accident was so loud it sounded like a gunshot so people were running in all directions out here crazy scene anyways we're gonna sneak out it's a little too crowded to be sneaking through even on the ron oh thunderbird that is nice that is very nice all right there's a little pickup little tokyo let's see where to from here is the real question i guess let's rip through the street up a little bit Live music. Guess we're gonna shred through Skid Row real quick while we're out here. See what's going on on that side of town. Tree fell, that's not good. Take a quick tear and see what's going on through the skid. Last time we came through here, which was two days ago, we came the opposite direction, so we were going like this way. And now, we're going this way. We're just gonna go straight down San Pedro Street. See what's going on. Chill, you know. We're not gonna get involved anywhere. Turned up out here today. Or had the FBI shades on, hopping out the car. Seems a little extra turned up right now. You know, the summer has got everybody on edge, man. That's just how it is out here. Oh man, I got the kid out. That's that is that is rough there's a market right there that's kind of crazy if that exists and this lady's got a nice car what's this place another nice car coming out of there what if those are apartments
regular day. This street is the craziest one right here. This is where like the social building is, or the mission, so where you can get free stuff. I'm going to get traffic, I'm just watching my, my back and my front. Madness. And then here, this is the side of the mission. A lot of fires spring up over here all the time. We're just going to mop it real quick. Not out of the ordinary. I don't know how many times I got this kid row. You guys have seen it. Just sometimes, like, it's, it's really the quickest way to get through certain parts of the city. So sometimes you got to go through it. You don't have to, but uh, it's definitely like you have to take a huge route out of the way if you want to specifically avoid it. So uh, there's times where I just, you know, like that, I just kind of cut through it. I mean, I don't know. To me, it's kind of normal. We're going to play chicken with an e-scooter. Nice. I don't even know how we really ended up right there, but uh, we did. Now we're going to go take a... A much more chill route. I don't know what that guy was yelling at. I'm gonna take a much more chill route uh, back through the city. We got a clean mini truck. That thing's sick. Uh, we just gotta make it <laughs> through here. <laughs> it's kind of slow motion. We're gonna try and get back to San Pedro Street, so we're gonna low key go through Skid Row again. This is what it is. We are going to cut a different route. We could go left right here, but we're going to take Wall Street instead. We could do that, or we could go straight. San Pedro eastbound now, going the opposite direction we just came. That cop was low-key staring so hard at me, I was not trying to get blurbs. But you know, am I getting followed? Yeah, he is following me. We gotta get across this light and just go. This is a part of town where I'd rather get pulled over than stop. I think we're fine. Hopefully that cop has bigger things to fry than <laughs> pulling over me on my Suron, but you never know. I guess we'll find out in a second if I hear that sound. That bloop. Swerving. Up some stairs. Oh, oh yeah. If I remember correctly, this leads back onto, yeah, where I just was, Little Tokyo. We just did a big loop, a massive loop actually, so that's cool. We're gonna not go through all those people. <laughs> it's just, that was just a lot of humans. I'm gonna take Central instead and probably cut back the exact same way we started. See what's going on. I don't know why there was so much, uh, you know. EMS activity on this side of town when I started. It's kind of rare for it to be over here and not back where I just was by Skid Row, but it looks like we're just going to set a record for how many stairs I can go up today. And that, uh, at one more set. Well, this bike is just, it is so, it is just something else. Battling traffic. Let's see. We could go a few different ways here. I think our best bet would be to get across this stoplight right here And then figure it out from there. All right Wrapping up. Oh, that bet is clean. I love it. Wrapping up a nice chill day I think we can get through right here. Maybe just kind of out free riding today It's always nice to just have a regular free ride day, you know Where you just uh, free ride <laughs> We didn't see that structure fire, so 
you know, there's that. That was interesting. Pretty cool cruise in LA today. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.